Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we're going to be working with the Mini 60 Sark 100 Antenna Analyzer clone. I know, it's a clone, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. okay. I wouldn't be showing it to you if it wasn't interesting. We're going to take a look at how to set it up on Android, where to get the improved software for it, and uh, perhaps make a t couple of antenna tests or band sweeps with a mag loop or another antenna. So, stick with me. Let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Now, if you haven't already read the blog post I wrote about why I didn't choose another MFJ antenna analyzer, I'll put a link right here and in the description. You can check it out after the video. Now, before we get started with the tutorial, let's take a look around the Mini 60. On the front face of the case, you have six buttons, set, scan, mode, band, up, down. You also have an LED that's red for charging or green for full and the um, dot matrix display. On the top of the case, we have an on off power switch and SO239. Finally, on the other end of the case, we have a USB charge port as well as a broad range DC input. If you need to get to the internal battery, removing the four machine screws at the sides of the case will give you access to it. Now we're going to enable the Bluetooth link and pair the Mini 60 to our Android device. Assuming you've already charged up your Mini 60, go ahead and use the power button to turn on the device. Then give it a second or two to boot up. Then momentarily push the set button, let go, and then push the down button and let go. If you've done it correctly, the first line on the screen will say PC link, the second line will say waiting link. Now we can move over to the Android device. So now your Mini 60 is waiting for a connection. We can open up the Bluetooth settings on our Android device and click scan so that we can find the Mini 60 and pair with it. Once your Mini 60 shows up in the available devices, go ahead and click it and then enter one, two, three, four and OK. Now the Mini 60 is ready to use, but we should go find some software. Now this is the website of the operator Delta Hotel One Kilo Lima Mike, and he has some very interesting information about the Mini 60 Antenna Analyzer. He also has Windows software and tutorials about installing a Bluetooth module to a Mini 60, which doesn't come with one. But what we want is at the bottom of the page and it says install Android Mini 60 dot APK directly from here. Download that to your computer, open it in the file manager and click to install. If asked during installation, you might need to enable unknown sources, install from unknown sources. Just go ahead and click OK for this installation only. Once it's installed, go ahead and click Done or OK and then we'll make a shortcut. I have a home screen set up just for amateur radio apps, so I'm going to grab the Mini 60 app icon and drop it there for easy access. So now we're ready to test and I think I'm going to use one of the mag loops. Go ahead and attach your coax cable and set up the Mini 60 for PC Link. Now back on the home screen, go ahead and click the Mini 60 app. We're going to click connect and then select the Mini 60 Ant from the Bluetooth device list. It'll just take a second or two, but you'll get a notification at the bottom of the screen that it was successfully connected or failed. 
Now you can select your frequency as well as the range in kilohertz that you want to scan. Go ahead and click start and let the app do its work. Since Magloops have such narrow bandwidth, I'm only testing part of the band. If we were testing a broadband antenna, we could certainly test all of HF with one scan. Since this is a magnetic loop antenna, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the frequency uh, to a place on the band that's more interesting for me. Something to remember guys, the scan won't stop automatically. It'll just keep on scanning, scanning, scanning until you stop it. But once you press stop, it'll continue to scan one complete time before it actually stops. And here we go. Now that's not bad. Sometimes I see some of these other YouTube channels saying uh, SWR of two to one is okay, but definitely not with my radio. But now let's reduce the scanning range down to three kilohertz and take a closer look at the Maglub. We'll also go ahead and start the scan again. Absolutely beautiful. That's it with this app, guys. There's no bells and whistles. It just does the job it's meant to do and nothing else. Now that I have the Mini 60 on the channel, I think we're going to start doing SWR sweeps of everything, all the antennas that we have. So let me know in the comments which antennas you'd like to see me do first. All right. We're at the end of the video. I'm going to leave you with a couple of interesting or related videos if there is one. And uh, hey, if you like what you see, you like what I'm doing, consider giving me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. That's the best way to help the channel. Rock and roll, guys. As always, thanks for watching.